and welcome to Thought for May the 12th. Our readings are Deuteronomy chapter 29, Isaiah chapter 1, and Acts chapter 27. And our thought is, the secret things belong to the Lord. How meaningful are the words Moses uses as he is completing his last message to the nation? Chapter 29 of Deuteronomy today ends with these interesting words. The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things that are revealed belong to us and our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. God has secret things that he chooses not to reveal to his chosen people, or even to Moses. One of those secret things is how he created the world. The simple fact is that he created it, as the beginning of Genesis tells us, doing so in daily stages. We can see it had to be this way, as several of these stages depended upon one another. It is very interesting that when God finally revealed himself to Job, his book is contemporary with Genesis, he asks him questions, but does not reveal the answers. He asks, who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Chapter 38, verses 2 and 4. Job confesses to God, I know that you can do all things. I have uttered what I did do not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Chapter 42, verses 2 and 3. God told Moses he had revealed the things that are essential for us to know. This is a vital point for us to acknowledge, especially in the 21st century, when men and women of science want to believe they know and understand the nature of everything. We started today to read the remarkable prophecies God gave to Isaiah. God says, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Even your sins are like scarlet. They shall be as white as snow, if you are willing and obedient. Verses 18 and 19. The world around us does not want to reason in this way. They want to reason there is no God. But look what interesting chaos and evil is developing in the world as a result. Let us be willing and obedient to leave the secret things to the Lord, for those who think they are starting to discover them are only fooling themselves in the age to come when those who have reasoned together with the Lord are made, said Jesus, equal unto the angels. Luke 20 verse 36 Then they will know the wonder of the secret things. Thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day once more, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Mm -hmm.